Okay, the email, the email, oh, oh, the email. Hey, Kelvin, we need a kick-ass fully branded VJ set for tomorrow night, and our designer sent us this one version of the logo, and it's all we can get. Oh, great. It's clients like this that make me tear all my hair out. It's turned it orange with rage, I tell you. Anyway, here's a few tricks of the trade from my years out in the clubs doing VJ shows that I'm going to share with you. Uh, it's going to require a little more than a printer, um, a camera. I'm just going to use this phone and um, a bit of free software and a little bit of hackery. So here's a quick lesson in how to hack together a VJ show. So kids, do try this at home. Okay, the client's logo is coming through now on my trusty little printer. In both colours, they've got black and white. Oh no, it's these guys! Not again! Okay, before I get into the sort of software side of things, I'm just going to film a few things with my camera. I'm just going to frame this logo up, move it around the screen, move it to the top of the screen, shake it around, and now. Do some kind of human non-CGI things with it. Then we're going to take this and feed this into some software and make it look better later. I'm going to do about a dozen of these things. The clients have more time or budget, or if I actually liked them, I'd probably do a 3D logo or something like that. I'd go into After Effects and do something all flashy. But, you know, we've got about five minutes to get this done, so I'm just going to do this phone thing. It's cool. We are now cruising at Geek Factor 3. That means we'll be skipping lightly over common procedures and concentrating on knowledge specific to this endeavour. You can always view this port again at our Geek Show channel or back at the Geek Show website, where you can also access all of the links we mention in this programme. If you need help with any of the items we skip over, try the FAQ, then the forums, and always remember the power of the mighty Google search engine. This has been a public service announcement for the Geek Show. Next, you need to get those videos from your phone or camera and onto your computer as a nice, friendly AVI. Use a common codec. Quality isn't important, but speed is. I'm afraid it's up to your own inner geek as to how to do this, as it's your camera and your computer. First, you're going to need Winamp. This is really easy to find and install. Next, use this excellent list to get the following two extra bits to add into your Winamp plugins directory. You're going to need AVS Slideshow and the AVI Player. Install Winamp, install the AVS Slideshow, and then go to ccon slash program files slash Winamp slash plugins. Locate the AVS root directory and create a shortcut on your desktop. You're going to need this later. Now extract the AVI Player APE and put it in this directory. Take all those videos you converted before, stick them in that directory too. Spend a few minutes searching around the net, make sure you're not breaking too many copyrights, and then collect a few images. Stick them all in a directory, stick that in the AVS route as well. This is where the real fun begins. Start Winamp and load up a music file, preferably something with a beat. Right, now here's a top tip that turns Winamp from a toy into a tool. To drive Winamp with an external source, like the output from a DJ's mixing desk, go to Open URL and then type in line in colon forward slash forward slash and hit return. This will change the input to Winamp to be your microphone or an external sound source. Neat! Now, in the preferences, select the AVS visualization plugin and then start it. Right click on this screen to open the AVS editor. Now don't be scared of the complex code you'll see here. We're going to hack the process, not the code, so this is really easy. In the window to the left are a series of modules and they're rendered from the top down. 
So we're going to insert a video player into this stack and the point at which the modulars moved will determine the effects within the visuals. Typically, the higher up the stack, the more affected it will be and you can drag it up and down easily to see these changes happen real time. If you need to troubleshoot your AVI player, drag it to the bottom of the stack and then you'll see it clearly on its own. Play with the controls on the right, which determine keying and compositing modes. This is where you get really creative and you can dial in some really sweet effects. Next, we're going to add a slideshow module and navigate to a directory full of pictures. Once again, play with the settings on the right until you like what you see. This is perfect for parties, as you can fill this with photos of all your mates and feed them right into the heart of the visuals. Don't be afraid to play with the other modules. Add some, remove others, explore some of the incredible code that people have knocked up for this tool. And when you're happy, save out your hack preset and continue on with your modding. Once you've got a bunch of cool effects running, get another monitor set up. Ideally make this a projector, or beamer as we call them in the trade. Then tell Windows to use this as your primary monitor, then move all of your desktop clutter onto the secondary screen. Now, go to the AVS display settings and turn on the desktop overlay mode. Now that contents of your little box is running full screen on your spare monitor for no performance cost. Neat, eh? You can play a trade-off of resolution and frame rate by resizing Winamp's display box and you can use various keyboard controls to time the changes to the music. As you can see, the results are pretty amazing for such a low-cost set of tools and such a fun process. As a final gift, go and search for this file. It's a 22 meg archive of every AVS preset ever made, all ready for you to hack into with this simple method. Never be afraid to ask at AVS, Winamp and VJ forums for help, and really get into enjoying the problem solving and the troubleshooting you'll inevitably have to go through to get this working. I've tried to give you the most valuable and hard-won knowledge nuggets from my years out doing this at clubs and outdoor events. Any of the stuff I've skipped over is easy to find out using the Google. So get your hacker head on and make yourself an incredible VJ show for your next house party.